Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the EC42 day slash six week for care for today's second video with a focus on the UK and Ireland and I shall get on with that for you in a moment, <laughs> just to say that the first video to say was our 6am UK weather forecast, we've got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day with all of the regular features coming up for you later on today as well so if you could please like share and subscribe on those videos i mean thank you so very much everybody uh for doing that uh, for us thank you so much thank you so much e7.int for supply the charts by the way thank you so much e <laughs> well we'll crack on then shall we why not uh so we're gonna begin with the uh week one mean cell pressure anomaly taking us from the 24th of april to the 1st of May. The uh, coming week or next week, I should say, has an area of high pressure down the western side of the Europe with lower pressure out in the Atlantic. That could start to bring up some warm air from the south, actually, by the way. 500 millibar height anomaly for next week has low pressure, but low pressure is low pressure in the Atlantic above. Of average heights uh, across West Europe and the wind blowing jet stream doing something a little bit like that. So, under a ridge of high pressure, you should have quite a lot of dry weather there. Uh, temperature anomalies next week look quite cool, especially for uh, northern and eastern regions. A little bit less chilly for Ireland, Wales, and southwestern England, but like Scotland, eastern England, coming out with below average temperatures next week. Goodness gracious me! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> And uh, the precipitation anomaly looks like that. A little bit on the drier side to our east, a little bit on the wetter side to the west. So actually in a little bit of a no man's land there, somewhere in between. In between. Okay, that's that one done. Let's have a look at week two, which will be the first of the eight. May. By the way, this gets us to June. Can you believe that? Oh, good gracious. Um, no, uh, the um, week two is going to be the first of the eight for May. Here we go then. Uh, and we see some high pressure over Scandi then and to our uh, east. Now that should start to bring the wind up from more of a southerly direction. I would have thought, how's the 500 millibar heights looking? So a nice ridge there, a nice ridge building uh, through the west of uh, Europe. It's gracious. The temperature only becomes warm. Look at this. Warming up for the first week of May. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so the temperature anomalies there are going to around 1 to 3 degrees above average. That's nice, isn't it? That's all right. And uh, precipitation-wise, so it's dry generally to the south of South Spain, Portugal, wet out to the north and west, and again, we're somewhere in between. In between. But I reckon that could be a dry week. Might break down later or something, though. Um, week three! <laughs> it's going to be the 8th and 15th of May. Let's have a look. Oh! 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 Low pressure appears across the west of Europe. That looks a bit, un <laughs> a bit unsettled, doesn't it? 500 millibar heights placing a trough of below average heights. Low pressure in the Atlantic and across the west of Europe as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Temperature anomalies are cooling down to be no better than average or have no signal. Oh gosh, and it turns wet as well. Look at that. Cooler and wetter in week three. <laughs> right, week four will be the 15th to the 22nd of May. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. Let's put in three question marks and see Marvin. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? I'm so sorry, everyone. 500 millibar heights for week four. Looks like that. Now, got a little bit of higher pressure just to our south. That could be all right. Uh, that, that could be a bit of all right. That could start to bring some warmer air up from the south and from the southwest. Now, how's the temperature anomaly looking? 
That's starting to recover a little bit. I'm going to go a bit warmer, nice. And uh, precipitation wise, mm, not much of a signal doing <laughs> there, is there? Right, well, we'll move on anyway. Week five. It's going to be the 22nd, 29th of May. Here we go. And uh, we've got high pressure reappearing around Scandinavia with some lower, 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 with some low pressure down towards uh, Spain. And Portugal. That could be the ever-present summer heat low, though. 500 millibar heights doesn't really show much. Let's put in a question mark. And shall we have a look at the temperature? Not Why not um, and it's no better than about average. I just still look a little bit milder to our west. It's a rather more mysterious week, isn't it? Um, a little bit wet down towards France and Spain, Portugal, and in the Atlantic there. A drier up there. Kind of hints at northern blocking that to me. High pressure out to the north and west in a cooler, wetter week. Right, well, week six to finish us off will be the 29th of May to the 5th of June, just into the beginning of meteorological summer 2023. Let's have a look, 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 let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, uh, that really wasn't really worth the build-up, was it? So, <laughs> pressure out there. Maybe hints of a bit of high pressure in the Norwegian Sea, but, I mean, it is a very, 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 very weak signal. 500 millibar height showing um, um, high pressure towards Iceland. Uh, low pressure in the Atlantic and over Scandi. Temperature anomaly, temperature anomaly, sort of cold than average or Scandinavia, mild and average just out to our west. And to finish up with that precipitation, so it looks drier than average up there, hints of a bit of blocking, wetter than average out there, and a bit dry towards Biscay. <coughs> and well, so what do you make of that? It looks rather mixed, doesn't it? A lot of intricate variation going on there, but there's no sign of anything particularly unusual happening. Although I think May does look a little bit mixed, you know, read between the lines. There's a decent week in week one and week three, and then I think week two and week four could be a little bit more unsettled. And those mixed conditions might carry on into um, the beginning of June, but of course that is a really long way off. It's like six weeks away, so it isn't worth worrying about. Right, we're done then. Well, that was all right, weren't it? If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. We'll be back shortly with the weekend forecast on the 10th of 14 day or two. Keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.